Hello people, this is Loud and Styles, and this is a response video to the lead casual gamer. We as users make videos. Once we make the videos, we go on to the next one. We sometimes like to look at our past videos and see where we went wrong so we can make the next one better than the last one. Also, another thing that changes in our videos that we do is the opinion that we set out. Sometimes when we do a video, we forget about it, go on to the next one. Then when we look back at it, we come to realize that our opinion has totally changed over time. It happens with everybody. Everybody who does a video spouting off a certain opinion, their opinion changes over time. Now, there's a video that I did around November 30th of 2010 called Loud and Proud, Someone Needs to Get Out More. When I did this video, I came in basically commentating on a butthurt furry knowing very little about the furry community in itself I know very I knew very little about it I didn't I didn't know enough to really form a concrete opinion because let's be honest half because let's be honest all of the stuff that I pretty much said was flimsy I'll admit like that video most of the opinions that I said was pretty flimsy though it had humor and a lot of people found it funny um, I had some very flimsy s stuff about furries in general. Even MS Skull himself pretty much said that not all furries are indeed sex craze maniacs. And I have to say that they're not. Not all furries are sex craze maniacs. A few, just I think a few are. Then again, I could be wrong. And also, around the time, I didn't know the definition of the word yif because I honestly thought it was two different defin it was two it was a definition for two different things. I thought that the word yif meant A pornographic pictures of furries and B the human equivalent to the word sex. I honestly thought that that's what it was. And my definition of the furry was completely fucking flawed. I'm not gonna lie to you it was because you know I was I didn't know very much again like I said and now that now like I think after the video I started to get really into the cult the uh, furry culture and understand it a little bit more because most of my my colleagues at school at college are indeed furries they they actually go to furry conventions and fursuit and they understand the entire they know the furry community in and out and I learned from them all that I would know about the furry community and I can look back at that video and say that I was pretty wrong with some of the stuff that I said and again Lee I have to say that your video was really good I enjoyed it um, even if it was a third degree commentary again that's a joke I was just joking with you but it was a really good detailed video very thorough had really good points and you call me out on some stuff that I will man up to and say, hey, yeah, you're right. I didn't know a lot. But um, let's just say this. I know it's just a title, but I am not at all a furry hater. I actually like furries. Hell, half of my half the friends at my school are fucking furries. And they're about the most sanest furries of all, and they do not get easily offended if anybody falsely accuses them of being, you know, sex crazy maniacs or shit like that um so again I just have to say dude really good video that's about it hope y'all guys enjoyed this I'm Loud Styles and I say good day I said good day